Hey everybody, welcome to the Save the Crafty YouTuber video hop. I'm Chrissy, and if you haven't been to my channel before, welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. So I'm gonna show you real quick that card that I just made. It's one of these little wheel cards. Um, so I'm using a die from Lawn Fawn because it's so much easier to use this die instead of trying to measure everything out by hand. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut all the pieces ahead of time. I am going to use a stamp set from Kindred Stamps, and um, it's kind of like a magic themed stamp set. So the die from Lawn Fawn, there's also a coordinating stamp set for those windows. And one of them said magical. And it, so I could do the sentiment that said you are so magical. So that's kind of how all of this came about because I figured that they worked really, really well together. So you can see here, I'm just kind of lining everything to make sure that it's going to work okay. Again, when you use that die set, it kind of takes all the guesswork out of everything. So you can also cut it without that window. If you saw when I was die cutting, I taped down with some purple tape, that little window, it fits perfectly into that little notch. So you don't even have to think about lining anything up. So I stamped this cute little guy. This is a Kindred Stamps stamp set. Um, I stamped him, and now I'm coloring them in with Spectrum Noir markers. This is also, it's, I'm sorry, it's called the Students of Magic set. So I'm just speeding this up super, super fast. I kept my coloring fairly simple. Um, one tip that I do want to give you when you're coloring with Spectrum Noir markers is if you have a really dark color and a really light color and you want to blend them together, what I just did there is I scribbled the dark color onto an acrylic black, and then I picked up that color with the lighter one. So then they kind of just start blending seamlessly. So you start where you want the dark to be, and then as you color, that ink starts fading away, so it actually kind of blends for you and makes it really, really easy. It's great to do when you don't have full sets, or like I said, color ranges where they're really, really far apart. Because then you, if, and if you don't have full sets, it's kind of saves you money too, because then you don't have to worry about getting the four or five or six colors that might be in between your lighter or dark one. You can just kind of fake it and mix them together almost and do it that way. So I stamped that cute little You Are So onto that um, card panel there. And now I'm going in and I'm using some Ink on 3 Watermark ink, and I'm stamping um, little images that are from the Masters of Magic set. So these are feet and little lightning bolts. Um, and I should mention that um, that this die that I've been using is called the Reveal Wheel from Lawn Fun. And then the sentiments are called the Reveal Wheel Sentiments. So once everything is lined up, you know, just kind of check it a couple times just to make sure you've got everything in the right spot. Um, the nice thing is that little circle on the back there, um, that's the way that you can kind of hold it down. So use your 3D foam squares for that and then the wheel still spins. So it's kind of like the base for that wheel spinning. So now I could probably just go ahead and stamp it as is, but instead I'm gonna use a pencil and I'm just gonna lightly mark that window so I can go and stamp it. I'm gonna actually take apart, um, I'm gonna take that brad out just so I don't want any bulkiness so I can get some clear impressions here. Um, but with the window there traced lightly with pencil, then I know exactly where to stamp it and then I just kind of erase it um, when I'm completely done. So just double checking all of that again, going through checking every position, tracing it, and I'm gonna take this apart and set that aside. And now I can stamp, I have the wheel lined up in there because of my pencil marks, but now I have a nice flat surface to stamp on um, instead of worrying about that bulkiness with the 3D foam and, and stuff like that in there. So you could use your Misty Stamping Tool with this if you wanted to. I felt comfortable enough just using an acrylic black. I just did like a test stamp on a little scratch piece of paper off to the side um, and then cleaned it off and then went on and did the next one right away. I'm just using VersaFine ink um, for the black ink. Um, I mentioned earlier I used the ink on three for the background. I also used that for the ink that I stamped and then embossed with white Ranger embossing powder. So just kind of stamping away here, making sure everything is showing up in that window. And then once I had them all, I just threw some 3D foam squares on the back. So the one thing I will say is definitely use 3D foam with this so it gives your wheel room to move because if you, you don't have a little bit of height on there, your wheel is going to get a little stuck because it, it needs that area to be able to spin. So then to assemble my card, I just use um, some foam strips from ThermoWeb. My 3D foam squares were from ThermoWeb as well. This just makes it a little bit easier for a lazy crafter like me because I don't want to sit there and do all these little squares. I can just do strips and be done with it. 
this is the finished card. You can see the little wheel go, boom, and done. So thank you so much for stopping by today. Please click on the link below to get to the next hopper. And thank you so, so much to our sponsors and to Justine for organizing all of this. So save all of us YouTubers. Have a great day.